Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Katie, aka Tattooed Mama. Today I'm very, very excited because I got my Lele Posh Cosmetics birthday box in. And I have never tried Lele Posh Cosmetics, but I've heard a handful of these smaller YouTubers that I follow uh, just rave about her. So I'm so excited, rave about her and her brand and all of the stuff that she makes. So I'm very excited to review this for you guys. I'm so happy I like made sure she only had a limited amount of these boxes and I like rushed home and made sure I was on the computer and bought one. So I was super excited. <laughs> so if you're interested to see swatches, what's in this box and a little mini tutorial, then just keep watching. So I am a fresh based, no makeup right now. I know these glasses look a little silly without any makeup on, but we're gonna be applying some makeup at the end of this video, we're gonna be using some of these products. So just bear with me while I look a little crazy. But I've never gotten glasses like these before. I've loved the little cat eye ones. I know they look a little funky on me, but once I put some makeup on, I think they do look a little bit better. So anyway, let's check out this box. I'm gonna read this little note that's in here. This says, hey, you gorgeous thing. I am so excited to share my birthday with those I love. This is the first collection that has ever been 100% me. I love green eyeshadows and I love rose theme colors. I also adore a good multi-use product as I ensured this box held a few. If you're new to Lele Posh, then you don't know that our boxes are one of our most beloved items. The reasons for this is they are collector item, collector's items or rather items that are box exclusive. The Stacker Gloss Liquid Highlighter um, hydro liner, which I'm so excited to use, and crystals are in, um, exclusive. They won't ever be sold. The Broken Roses shadow was meant for this, for this collection, but I had extra, so this shade is not an exclusive. However, there is very small amount left, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. Thank you for making this the best birthday ever. 37 never felt so good. And then it just showed, um, it shows all of the products that are in here. So let's go ahead and open this up. There is a cute little mint in here and I will have her site um, linked down below for sure. Um, which reminds me that I always say that on my videos that I'm going to link the businesses and I've realized that I have spaced doing that on some. So I need to go do that. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with these stacked. These are stacked eyeshadows. And which I'm pretty sure. Let me read on the paper. Um, let's see. Okay, this is a valued at twenty dollars. This is a five-tiered stacker. Holds over ten g of product in each container. The first shade is a demi matte rich green with sub subtle reflex of gold throughout. The second is a beautiful rose tone matte. We're just going to swatch them and then see how it goes. So it has this really cute like papered stickered rose on top of it. And I'm going to open these up and try not to be super super messy with them. Um, loose pigment, like loose eye shadows like this are always hard to kind of swatch on the hand. So that is the first shade. It's like a burnt, not a burnt, I don't know, why does it say burnt? It's, yeah, kind of a darker-ish green with a mauve kind of green with the gold uh, reflex in it. That is pretty. Green is definitely not a shade that I tend to really go towards. Because some greens do not look good on me, but I feel like this green, um, it might possibly work. So I'm going to wipe my finger. I'm going to dip my other finger in this shade right here. It's a really pretty pink. And then the next one is more of a white. Ooh, this one looks pretty though. This one looks like it's gonna be a good 
eyeshadow topper. It's kind of hard. It's hard to show, but it's got that shimmer in it. It's definitely an eyeshadow topper. I mean, you can wear it on its own, but it's not going to be, um, it's not going to show up too much. And then there's this kind of, I don't think I have a color in my collection like this. This is like a burnt orange, kind of like a um, brick orange color, like a clay. Sorry, just watching it too far down on my hands. I think these would all look a lot better if I had, once I have like a, if, when I have a primer on my eyelid and uh, pack this on with a brush, maybe even a wet brush. And the last one's gonna be this bright green, which I'll do right here so you guys can see. Ooh, that is a fun green for sure. Every time I get a green like that, I think of Beetlejuice. Um, so those are really pretty. Those are all the shades right there. I look forward to trying these out and putting them on the lid. I'm not going to use them today but I will be doing a separate video on those. All right, next up are these lashes, and these are green lashes. This packaging is just so cute. Those are some green lashes. Those are fun. I'll have to think of a look to do with that. I mean, Halloween's coming up, and I want to do some fun looks. Uh, some of these sticker, not stick, like, yeah, the stickered, gems, which are very pretty. This would be very fun to do a look with those as well. Then this right here is a Lele Posh Confetti Liner, which I think this is what I am the most, oh wait, no, this is not. This is, I'm like, how do I open this? Oh. Okay, so the packaging looks like this black kind of looks like a lipstick and it's got a lip on it and then it's just a kind of glittered liner I'm really not I don't know not getting much out of this it, it's a bit kind of clumpy as you can see let me read up on this real fast and kind of. All right, so there's nothing of that just fell on the ground. There's nothing about this on the paper. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have to add a few like drops, eye drops to it. So next up, this is what I was really excited about. This is the Lele Posh um, Lavish. The liner. Her packaging is super cute. This is what I'm going to be using today. Actually, no. This is a lip gloss. Sorry. I thought this was a liner. The liner is in the box. Let me just read this. I'm not familiar with her products. So this is a lavish lip gloss. It's um, my favorite gloss I've ever made. It's hydrating soft and has a gorgeous shine. It's stunning shifts reflected throughout it. I will swatch it on my, you know, we'll put, put it on my lips right now. It doesn't have too much glitter in it like it looks like it has tons of little glitters in it but I'm not really seeing that on my lips which is fine with me I don't want chunks of glitter but it's pretty definitely going to use that for today's look next this is such a little cute packaging this is the melted no, the metallic rose water activated liner and let's open this up. Ooh, this looks pretty. Okay, so this right here, you do get a um, a brush wet, and then you dip it in here, and it kind of activate it, and then you can use it as a liner. So I will be doing that in a tutorial in another video. This is a. I'm not quite sure what it is. Ooh, holy cow! It's freaking. So it is a pressed eyeshadow. Wow. 
that is very pretty. I feel like that would go on really well with a wet brush. And then this right here. Ooh, they're little like, look how cute that packaging is. And then the inside are little um, iridescent, like they're like the little rhinestones. This just, I'm going to for sure do a look using these as well. And then last but not least in here is the, oh, the sticker on back is coming off, so I'm totally going to take this off. Um, I feel some oils coming out of this, but this is a liquid highlighter, but she said that you can use it really like however you want. So we're going to apply some, eh, we'll apply some to my hand and then I think oh my gosh that is so pretty I'm going to apply some of this to like my shoulders and my collarbone and my cheeks and also when I do the tutorial I'm going to turn over the camera so you guys can get more of a better like view but that's just pretty so now I'm going to um I was like super excited now that I'm thinking I was super excited for like a for some reason I thought this right here would have been like a liquid eyeliner but this is the the liner and it's just very uh, dry like dried out and kind of like clumpy so I'm gonna add a few drops of um, I I drops to it and see how that works and yeah then I'll be right back okay so the highlighter is gorgeous I really like it but it seemed to definitely clump up a bit in the oils and stuff the oil I guess whatever that was in it to help it more liquidy seems to kind of be gone already so um, I think I'm gonna have to add some like water to it or um, like I said, eye drops is another thing you can use to like um, more like wetten up the product more. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that um, I like lip gloss. Very pretty. I need to apply some more on. I'm excited to try out the um, loose eyeshadows and kind of go from there because I don't want to give my overall opinion right now. I'm just a little kind of bummed a bit just because. Like I said, the highlighter um, has the dropper to it, and I can't get any product out of the dropper. I've used it once, and then there was no more product coming out of the dropper, and it seems to be kind of clumping around the um, little thing. So, yeah, I'm going to test, them out, test um, her products, these products out just a little bit more, and then probably at the end of the month um, give you guys my like overall opinion review and things on it. But, um, yeah. I'm excited that I did get to try out some of the products. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you hit that like button. Subscribe so you can see more from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Toodles.